Hello, welcome to today's class and I'm so much excited. Before we begin tackling this further logarithm question, I want all of us to go through what we call the laws or the basics of further logarithms. And here are all the laws of logarithms on the board. The first law simply states that the log of A times B is also equivalent to the log of A plus the log of B. And the log of A divided by B in bracket is also equivalent to the log of A minus the log of B. We also have the log of A power B is also written as B the log of A. Then also the log of A to base B can also be written as 1 over the log of B to base A. Take note of this. Now, the log of A to base A is equal to 1. Just like saying log of 10 to base 10 is equal to 1. Finally, we have the log of B power K to base B is also what we call K. And finally, the log of 1 should be equivalent to 0. Well, you can pause the video and go through all the laws over again. This is a sample question on how we can be able to apply what we have learned. And the question is 2 log of 15 minus the log of x is equal to log of 5 plus log of x minus 4 in bracket so what is the first step how can i solve this question first thing i will need to do is to collect all the unknowns on one side and that is the first step so the solution for this let us collect all the unknowns on one side and therefore we'll have 2 log of 15 now, when log of 5 crosses the equal sign to this other side, it will be what? Minus log of 5 is equivalent to, now we'll have this crossing over to the other side to have what? Positive log of x plus log of x minus 4. From here, there is a law that can allow me to write 2 log of 15 as the log of 15 squared. And therefore, I'll have log of 15 squared minus the log of 5 to be equivalent to the log of x added to the log of x minus 4. Once you're at this point, there is a law that can allow me to combine these two. And that law simply states that if we have the logarithm to the same base and there is a subtraction sign, therefore this can also be written as log of 15 squared divided by 5. And the same will apply to this other one, but this log, there is an addition sign here. And therefore we'll have log of x in bracket times x minus 4. Put all that in bracket. And there we'll have, still have log of 225 divided by 5. Okay for me to say 45 is equal to x squared minus 4x. And also, when I try and look at this question, I can see a quadratic equation forming somewhere. Then let me rearrange this quadratic equation into its general format. That general format is in the form of ax squared plus or minus bx plus or minus c to be equal to 0. And therefore I'll have x squared minus 4x minus 45 to be equal to 0. That will be our quadratic equation. Remember we are not yet through solving the question. Follow up with me in the next step on how to solve this 
quadratic equation for the value of x. So I have written the quadratic equation here so as to see each and every step on how to solve that quadratic equation. There are very many methods of solving this. Whichever method you choose suits you best, it's okay. So, to me, I always think of the product sum rule to be the easiest. To you, it might be different method. Now, let us look at the product and sum rule. Think of two numbers, the same numbers, A plus B. When you add them, you're supposed to get negative 4. And when you multiply these two numbers, you're supposed to get what now? Negative of 45. What are these two numbers? The two numbers are 9 and 5. The real question is, 9 when you add to 5 will be 14. But when you add negative 9 to 5, you'll get negative 4. And when you multiply negative 9 times 5, you'll get negative 45. So, these two numbers are what you plug in here at the center of this quadratic equation. So let's plug them in. You'll have x squared minus 9x plus 5x minus 45 to be equal to 0. At this stage, you do what you call pairing. I usually say it's pairing because you must make sure that all of them are in twos. You pair them up. Now, after pairing them up, you factorize them. How do you factorize? Look at the most common between these two. And you notice that the most common here is x. Make sure that x is outside the bracket. And whatever is inside the bracket will be now x minus 9. Plus, now, what is the most common between these two? And that is 5. Therefore, you'll have x minus 9 to be equal to 0. x minus 9 is on this side, and also x minus 9 is also on this other side. Expression, the next step will be now, I'm taking this x, then positive 5, all of it in one bracket, then I'll have x minus 9, all of it to be equal to 0. Now, we want to get the roots of the quadratic equation. Therefore, it's okay for me to say x plus 5 is equal to 0, or x minus 9 is equal to 0. Then, if x plus 5 is equal to 0, therefore x should be equivalent to negative of 5. At the same time, if x minus 9 is equal to 0, Therefore, it is okay for me to say that x is equal to positive 9. Now, we have solved for the values of x in this question. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's any part you didn't understand, kindly replay the video again. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.